go to the ER. And the two medical students there argued with me about giving me 10 units an hour of insulin plus 20 units as an immediate bolus. And I knew that at 15 and you know 125 pounds, that was way too much insulin for me. But because I don't have a medical background and I was just some teenager, they didn't take me seriously. And sure enough, two hours later, I was crashing and they were pumping me full of sugar to counteract all the insulin they just gave me. My father's a diabetic with you know bad coronary artery disease um, who's gotten care at three different hospitals. When the folks at Hospital X don't know what happened at Hospital Y, they're not giving him really good care. If your records are in Boston and you're in North Carolina or you're in California, there's no way to bring it all together. You get subjected to multiple x-rays that you didn't need multiple of. There are exams that you needed, tests that you needed, things you need to do that actually didn't happen because people didn't realize that that hadn't been done. Not only does that mean that there's waste in terms of money um, and a burden on the, the healthcare system generally, it means my mom gets hurt. If I could snap my finger and have one thing transform the quality of care in the country, it would be that everyone would have an electronic health record that would be universally accessible. In healthcare, doctors and nurses, technicians, managers, they, they want to help patients, but, but, but they may find themselves in, in systems of, of work that just confound their, their best efforts. With medicine, we feel like we have a responsibility and a bond to every patient who we care for. The problem is, with a paper chart sitting in front of you, it doesn't give you information that's up to date. It doesn't help you make connections. It doesn't help remind you of things that is buried in the chart. The current system means that the information that's required is frozen in glaciers. So you need to go and chip it out of a glacier to find what you need to make good decisions. Our goal with this work is to have the information that's been delivered to your patient liquid, available there when you need it so that you can make better decisions with your patient for their care. Our health system has to change um, and that it actually has to move toward one that actually coordinates care for a patient, one that actually understands what's going on with a patient or a population of patients. It's about getting rid of the clipboard that you annoyingly have to fill out every time you go see even your own physician who should know you. To collect information from multiple parts of the healthcare system, put it in one place that makes it easier for families to manage. The record follows the patient, so when the provider sees the patient, they can see the total record. It would put me in a safer situation as a patient. It would give me support and backup when I'm speaking with a physician or a new physician. You've seen every other sector of the economy use information technology to drive massive improvements. Efficiency, quality, service delivery. Um, healthcare hasn't yet had that opportunity. It's almost a historic convergence right now and uh, maybe we can get the job done if we just really all do that together. So the opportunity is better care, better health outcomes, better coordination of care, and with luck, reduced cost and improved efficiency. If you have the ability to do something good now, why wait till later? Why not take advantage of this opportunity?